I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Hey, we're just going to be having some fun today. In fact, we're going to be using a Henry Evil Roy, which we've done a review on in the past, so we're not going to be going into all of that. We're just going to see what it will do at shooting at some of the AR500 bottles, which are the Make It Ring ones, and some 4 and 6 inch gongs. Um, probably going to be firing at a... Oh, 15 to 25 yards bearing it using some quiet ammo and like I said just for the fun of it uh, some of you might want to see how the Evil Roy shoots again and it is a great little gun there's no doubt about it I, I really like this rifle and carbine whatever you want to call it because that's what it is it is a carbine uh, and as I said we're just going to be having some fun shooting here you're going to see what happens going to try some quiet ammo uh, Probably a Gila, and that's a little lower velocity. That way we'll kind of see what it will do out of this gun, uh, firing at those, and if they'll knock the bottles over. Otherwise, we'll sh switch over. Then we'll use some CCI Quiet, which is 710 feet per second. So let's load this thing up and just have some fun shooting. Yeah, I got you zoomed in a little bit. We're back here at uh, well, the 15-yard mark. So we'll... Uh, We'll move back in a little bit, but I'm going to fire about 10 rounds from here and see what happens. And we'll take a shot at it. Well, looks like it don't knock it over, does it? It hits them, but that's about it. I'll hit the gongs. And we got a jam. That's the one problem I found with this Aguila stuff. The bullet is so small that it uh, it just doesn't want to rack in properly into these lever actions. Um, so I'm going to try to get this out, and then we're going to load it up with the CCI quiet ammo, which will definitely cycle and knock this off. So I guess we did learn something, didn't we? Um, I've had problems in the past. And we're just going to see what happens. I mean, I've got pretty good jam here. So uh, I'll be back with you in a bit. All right, it wasn't that bad of a jam. It came out pretty easy. But what I've done is loaded the CCI. Now the difference is the Colibri has a 20 grain bullet. This is a 40. So um, it, it makes a difference in the length and everything else and the way that it racks in. And just for the heck of it, after we fire these, we're going to get some shorts. Because you can fire shorts in here too, and uh, we'll load some of those and see. But first, let's uh, let's see what the CCI does. Looks like I knocked that uh, four inch right off of its hook. Kind of wondered if that had happened. It doesn't have the round holes like you normally use for those hooks. It's got the square ones that I've noticed. They don't quite fit the same. So there's something else we've learned too on them. Um, that's the first time I've actually ever fired at the four inch like that with the square holes on that, those little hooks like that. So what we're going to do just for the heck of it. Like I said, we're going to put some shorts in this and see what this thing does with some shorts. Alright, I've got uh, 10 shorts loaded in here. And these are 29 green. So, rack good. I just put that in. So we'll see what these do. I also have lowered the sight just a little bit. 
I think it was shooting a little high. I really think that's why I knocked that uh, one off of its, its deal up there because I think that hook, I hit right close to that hook. So we'll see what this does. Maybe I'm too low now. We'll find out. Well, it's hitting them pretty good. Well, there's 10 targets, 10 shots, so it did it pretty good. And those were 29 grain. Now those, uh, those actually cycle through a lot better than the Colibri 20s. And uh, it's different. There's a kind of a pointed one. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between the two, the way the rounded and the pointed, if you have not seen the Colibri. I mean, I know a lot of you have. So uh, I'm going to show you that. And, you know, this is a doggone much fun. I want to keep shooting. But, you know, we've done what we've done. So I'm going to show you that anyway. Well, it's turned in a little bit more of a lesson than I'd planned on, but uh, I'm going to show you the difference now in these different bullets. And most of you, I mean, already know all of this, but uh, for those of you who don't, that's the idea of shooting plank. You know, it's to get you guys that have never been doing this into the sport and having some fun with it. Nothing serious here in shooting plank. Remember that. So, here's what I'm going to show you here, up close. There's the round that was jammed on the Colibri. Now, see the bullet on that? And I'm gonna set my Evil Roy down right over here in a safe position. It is unloaded. Now, there's a 40 and that 20. This is the one that I, that's the CCI that I'd fired. Now the short, and that's a regular LR, long rifle. Here's the short. Now I'm going to show you the difference in the bullets. There we go. Here's the one that jammed and these cycled very well just like that. Even though there isn't a whole lot of difference the tips, see where this is a more of a pointed and I can feel, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but right on the end of that, you can see where it was jamming in to the ramp, where it just would not ramp in properly. Where these have got a rounded type of nose to them. So those, uh, those will ramp in a lot better. So I, I've learned my lesson. You know, I've had some jamming problems in the past with that Evil Roy, on, and it, it's probably been with that. Um, there was I had the same thing with the um, mare's leg, and the mare's leg though was on the, and that was an, another problem altogether. That had Henry took care of that, as they always do. Great customer service at Henry, and they took care of it right away. There was a problem with the ramp on that one, so you know that was a different issue, not necessarily the the bullet type. But here today, this was definitely the bullet, as you could see because by putting that 29 grain short in there, this is a 20, the short is a 29, and then this is a 40. Uh, don't go with these in there. And these really, even a Gila, they don't say to use these in any rifles. A lot of us do, such as me, but they say these are for pistols, uh, like a revolver. Not a semi-automatic, they won't work. In fact, CCI does have some quiet ammo that is for automatics, and it does work because we got a video that we did a while back with that. But these, you know, you probably are better off uh, staying using a revolver. We're probably going to be doing that too, just to see what happens with it. Um, but for right now, we had some fun with the Evil Roy, the Henry Evil Roy. And uh, it shot good. And the last ones there that I did with those shorts, hey, <laughs> that picked them all. I hit hit every target. I had 10 rounds in there, 10, 
then targets at every one of them. So did a good job. And also I think it helped by me readjusting those sights. And that's the one thing I've noticed about this Evil Roy. I don't know why, but I just can't find that fine line of where I want on the elevation. Um, but this time, maybe I got it. I don't know. If I was just shooting paper, maybe I could have used one of my stickers up there and found out. That might have showed me a little bit more, and I may do that, but I'm going to do that off camera, so you won't have to worry about that. We just had some fun today. So until next time, shoot safe, and have a great day of planking.